it's going on feathers and welcome back to the non to legend series i almost said the wrong series name caught myself that time though oh yeah we are here for the first game of the season um we're kicking off with a midlands derby game um i did mean to have a look to see what places we could live i'm still living in an undisclosed hotel currently but we will for the next episode have a look and see if we can find anywhere nice to live. Maybe rent, possibly buy. Don't know yet. I think my contract is up at the end of this year. Maybe we just rent for now. Um, but we're playing against Athlone Town. And the squad looks decent, I would say. Uh, we've made a few transfers, not too many. Um, or I was looking at the release players that we'd sent out or who we released uh, Connor Kenna <clears throat> originally was going to be a coach and then he got blocked or the him coming in as a coach got blocked because be too many so he's gone out and now he's Dundalk's under 19s manager which is annoying Sam Verdon refused a new contract he's off and joined UCD for 300 quid a week in the same division the reason he wouldn't sign with us was because we were playing in the first division he wanted to go to a top division team. That didn't work out very well for him now, did it? Uh, Richie Purdy is being scouted. He refused a contract as well because we're in the first division. It's not worked out so well for you now, has it, buddy? Hmm? Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, Lee Stacey left. Bray, after picking him up, he again refused a new contract because he was... Um, yeah, because I think it was, he didn't want to say because we got relegated as well. So he's left for a first division team. To be fair, he didn't play at all last season. Wasn't very good anyway. Declan Walker wanted to sign a contract and I decided against signing him because he's not he's not very good. Um, He has a couple of things about him that are decent. But it's just not good enough for the money he wanted. Um, Adoa Durvin. Again, refused a contract because he wanted to play in the top division. Not really signed the found the club to take him on. So he's gone. And Adam Cantwell uh, wanted a full contract because he was on a non-contract when I joined. I said no. And then he left. So that is fine by me. This is what we've done. Mark Hughes came in. He's a player who was signed before I joined. He's a meh player for this team. I reckon... For um, Cove, he was a player that came up in my scout reports. He would have been a very good player for Cove. Not so much for Longford. Uh, then we brought Rory Purcell in. You might remember him. Brought him in on loan at Cove. He's now on loan at Longford. I think he's a great player. So when he came up, I was like, yeah, definitely going to have a look at him. Ian Harks. Harks. Harke. He's a, an ex USA under 20 international he's uh, come in popped up my scout reports brought him in on trial realized he played for Dundee United for the last couple of years was a DC United Academy graduate got a couple of games for them before he joined Dundee United now he's with us I um, think he's going to be a bit of a fruity player he reckons he's a playmaker I I wouldn't say so he, I'm training him to be box to box I think that's where he's his future lies with us on the outs, we have a bunch of shit players who went out on loan. Then Jack Doherty was a player I really wanted to get rid of because he wasn't very good. He is gone. Got, went to Cabin Teeley, so that would be interesting to see how he gets on. Uh, Daniel Rooney left and caused chaos in the, the dressing room. Nobody wanted him to leave. I didn't want him to leave, but he wanted to leave for a top division team. Signed for Dundalk, so went for the best team in Ireland. But he's loan listed and looks like he's off to Galway. And then Jamie Crilly. Pretty sure he was non contract. Yeah, he was a non contract player. He's gone to UCD's reserves. So yeah, he's um he's only twenty, but he's only ever played four games in his entire career. So the squad is a little bit on the the small side but it's fine I'm not worried um, there's nobody we have 
that we're looking at at the current moment currently we're I, I wouldn't mind bringing in a couple of other players um, like we're fine for goalkeepers I should bring up the squad depth uh, we're fine for goalkeepers we have the two young kids that could step in Gertzide came in on a at the end of his contract when Derry released him came in it was in on loan last year it was quite good offered him a full uh, full contract he said not a problem boss and I was, that's that's my boy uh, Brian Purcell continues his loan in Longford Um, it's like we could probably do it another centre back maybe definitely could do it with a better left back centre midfield we're okay right wing we're f fine Sharky he was the one that came from home farm I think he'll get a lot of games this year Um, attacking midfielder I think Byrne is probably our number one Adam Evans is probably going to play a lot of games Fugera Evans and Daly as our left wingers not a problem with him um, O'Leary looks like he's going to get a lot more games as well this year up front we've Duffus, Fugera, Roy Purcell, Bogdanov, uh, Evans and that guy what's his name Foy he's not here okay well we've Roy Reid as well Roy Reid looks like he's going to be a very good attacking midfielder so Attack midfielder or centre midfielder. I'm teaching him to be a centre midfielder at the minute. I'm hoping that he can kind of push on with that. So the team we're going to be using for the first game of the season. Yeah, it's Jamie Foy. Why wasn't he listed in the thing? He's, I don't know if he's ever going to make it, essentially. But he's, you know, Simon Malloy, another player that uh, has potential, hasn't really hit any sort of ability at the moment but this is the team we're using to start at the start or the first game of the season because Sam Todd and Brian Purcell both suspended we are going to start with Hamilton in goal to make his debut with Quinn our young right back coming in and Russell's going to play on the left with uh, Canavan and Noah Hoffman as our centre backs um, Conti and Harks are going to start in centre midfield with Odie, Byrne and Fuguera behind Duffus I'm going to give Duffus an opportunity to do, to show me that he's worth starting the season as our number one striker because he scored three goals in friendlies. I don't think he played every... Yeah, well, he started that one against Athenry. Right. Um, and against Derry, I don't think... Yeah, he didn't start against Derry. Did he come off the bench? No. So he didn't play against Derry at all. So he only played four friendlies and scored in three of them. I think I think we're going to be fine. So that's the team we're going to start with. And we're going to hope and pray that we can win the Midlands Derby right off the start. My lad continues as their goalkeeper. Uh, UCD, uh, like four of their players were uh, on the verge of joining us. Um, but then we just couldn't afford to pay their wages. So... It's going to give everyone a bit of passion for the first game of the season. Uh, like I said, we'll probably have a look to see what, what we're, we're going to have to find a house at some point. So I might have a look and see if we can find we can rent somewhere for maybe a year. See what's uh, available in the Midlands area. OD didn't bother jumping for that, but turns. And Stephen Byrne, first goal of the season. Kevin Teeley are leading against Galway as well. Oh. Interesting. Didn't expect Kevin Teeley to be beating Galway. Stephen Byrne, first goal of the season. Doubt you buy. Drogheda are playing Cove. I think it was Drogheda. Duffus picks up the ball. Duffus has um, a PPM that I don't like, which play with his back to goal. When he wants to be a poacher, doesn't really make sense. I'm playing him as an advanced forward, so it still doesn't work. He's more. It, that would make him more of a, a target man. But he's not very good at being a target man. I, if I honestly mis mistake, it's, eh, it's not that bad. But we ha if I want to play a target man, I'm going to play Purcell because Purcell is six foot four and an actual target man. Russell to burn. It's raining in game and it's raining outside. <gasps> oh, 
it's a conspiracy. Um, good man, Russell. The Athlone winger was running so very slowly. Noah Hoffman, our left back, playing at centre back. Oh, Stephen Byrne, beautiful first touch. Passes it to Duffus. And he can't get the ball past my lad. Oh, and my lad's a terrible goalkeeper. Come on, lads, bit of passion. Nobody cares. Good job, buddies. Quinn. To Conte. Across the Harks. Quinn. I'm going to say that was that was a shot. I think we can all safely say that was a shot. Definitely not a cross. Noah Kaufman beautifully headed down to Russell. Athlon come at us again. Put Doherty to where are my defenders gone? Hamilton, ex Dundee player. So we have a Dundee United, ex Dundee United, and ex Dundee player. Oh, there's probably going to be a war in the dressing room. Didn't re our dressing room atmosphere has changed so much in the last couple of um, last couple of weeks because the players hated each other and now they like each other. So everyone's relatively happy. How did Hamilton not save that? Kean Levy puts it through. Then Hamilton. That was terrible. That is. That was so poor. Fuguera. Harks. Big ball over to OT. Oh, look, he's done his man. Puts it in. Duffus. Courtney Duffus with his first goal of the season. First goal for Longford. Might I add. Um. Who did I? There's someone I signed and they done like almost double everyone else's wages. Can't remember who well. Conti is also one of the favourites to get young player of the season. Uh, Duffus is one of the favourites to get top scorer of the season. So we have a couple of players that are good. We're expected. I meant to show you what we're what's expected of us. We have to win the league. Um, and if Courtney Duffus keeps trying to score goals like that, it's not going to happen. Maguire would need to be very cautious about what he's doing here because we have a lot of players that are uh, in his position and he's not really filled himself with glory in this game. Although to be fair, it's it must be difficult for him having been a striker for the best part of last season for us and then to suddenly find himself as a left winger. <clears throat> Hamilton actually makes a save that time. No, I'm going to say I'm not happy because we should be doing better than we are. Uh, Stephen Quinn having a bit of a poor game, but it's fine. Fugera is not having a great game either. Maybe just put Odi to a winger, being like an actual winger. See, would that get him a bit more involved in the game? Do I have, I have Adam Evans on the bench if I decide Fugera is having a poor enough game that he has to come off. Well, a bit of creativity. Some of them are pressured, some are inspired. Harks with the corner. Fugera doesn't get the ball in there. Noah Kaufman, Conti, Canavan, or Canavan, Fugera, Canavan, Fugera, Can one of you, shoot. Okay, thank you. We've gotten rid of the ball playing defender as well that we had um, last year. Just because I don't think the ball playing defender was actually doing anything. They were more just being a ball playing defender because that's what I was asking them to do. But nobody had good enough attributes to do it properly. Quinn. Levy. Gorman. Dinks it forward. Russell heads clear. Figueroa picks it up to Conti. Big ball forward. Duffus can't get there. Walker, Conti heads to Herx. I said they, they, they could make a very good centre midfield partnership. Duff is down to Courtney and Duff is down to Courtney. No, no. Duff is down to Burn. Burn shoots wide. My lad with the goal kick. Nobody over with their player. Hoban 
put Donnelly through again. And this time he just puts it wide. But Hamilton attempted to save it. So that's better than not attempting to do anything. I'm going to demand more. I want more. We're... Okay. Um, i bring Evans on for Foguera. Because he's just playing so poorly. Um, the players are very tired. Do we have anyone on the bench? Wanna Harks can come up for Sharkey. We we'll leave it at that for the time being. Alright, that's a bit of passion. Gonna move Noah Kaufman to left back and bring on Killian Davis. Davies for the last couple of minutes, just a bit of a bit of, you know, running about. Hamilton, heavy touch and my player doesn't get there. Conti picks it off him. Or D whips it in. Nobody's there. I'm gonna count that as a cross. That was a cross. There was just nobody there to do anything. Davies wins the ball. Canavan Ned Canavan. Canavan heads down again. Quinn picks it up. Puts stuff as true. But OD picks up the loose ball. Oh, Willie OD. <clears throat> Hamilton. He's, got, he's getting away from his man. Thankfully, Hamilton. Or Hamilton stops it. OD tries to put stuff as true, but he doesn't. Game ends 2 1. We have won the, at, or the Midlands Derby. Well done, it's a good win for us. They got man of the match. God damn it. it must have been my lad. I'm going to say my lad was man of the match. Because he, he was under extreme. Not their striker Donnelly got man of the match. Oh, that went wrong then. Cove got a draw against Drogheda. Let's see what team they put out. Oh god, I'd love to have Jeff Byrne. Shamrock Rovers want him. Oh, oh. McSweeney, Lyons, Taylor, Abbott, McMahon. Must be a new signing. He is. He's a fucking agent. O'Reardon, Hurley. O'Reardon playing in central midfield. Okay. Uh, Kieran Dunn and Ryan Burke up front. Brought this man through. If it wasn't for me, they'd, he'd never have been a footballer. Um, I'm going to take... I'm taking credits for that. McAlevey. Graham Kelly. Another player that I... Brought through. Uh, yeah, fair enough. They were a decent team to play against uh, against Strahada. But we're second in the league. Kevin Teeley ahead of us on goal difference. Because they won by two goals. Whereas we won by one. We're equal with Bray. But we scored more goals. So fuck you Bray. Long troubled by rival defeat. Hamilton makes his debut. Along with Harks and Sharkey. The club vision, as I said, uh, work within the wage budget. On course, we're doing it. We need to win promotion by winning the league. Required. So, And I want us to reach the second round of the Senior Challenge Cup, which hasn't been drawn yet. In the League Cup, is it? We're playing... Tolka. No, it's not. In the Leinster Senior Cup, we're playing Tolka. So, should be an easy enough game. Tolka Rovers, not a very good team. And then our contract expires at the end of this season. So if we win the Leinster Senior Cup, I get a grand. That'd be nice. Anyway, um, that Sharky's Cup tied. God damn it. So that means somebody else is going to have to sit on the bench for the next game. Um, when we're going to come back, that is a question we need to answer. Um, oh cover the next uh next league game that should be interesting how about we jump ahead to ucd galway or do we no we do finn herbs galway um it'll get us forward about a month we see what we get on uh so yeah finn herbs ucd in the next episode should be um a fruity little number hopefully we can Continue this good run of form that we're on after beating Athlone, beat Tolka, smash Cove, destroy Bray, 
dominate Wexford, play well against Drogheda, and then beat Finn Harps and UCD in the episode. So like I said, if you've enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We have a lot of fun here, okay? Leave a comment down below, uh, saying pee pee poo poo, if you've made it this far. That way then I know you're one of the, the real ones. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Come on.